What's up, YouTube family? First of all, take a look at this. Take a look at this. What if you guys can see? We got introduced Rudy to the channel. Look at this view. We have, uh, I don't know if we've ever done a video where we use the camera on the iPhone, like a vlog style. Today I wanted to bring you guys along with me on my 4th of July adventure. Been up here, it's uh, the 4th. Today it's, uh, yeah, Tuesday the 4th. Been up here since Saturday. We're in gorgeous Sedona, Arizona, if you guys have ever been. If you haven't, gotta check it out. It's gotta go on your bucket list. I think I prefer this place over Maui. I prefer this place over most places. It's just, it's, it's got amazing food, amazing shopping, amazing attractions. Obviously, I don't think I need to say amazing views. In the distance, you got some, probably can't see it, but people riding in a helicopter viewing everything on their tourist attraction. But today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about just utilizing whatever you guys are currently doing in your business to get things like this. This is a, uh, a newer Airbnb. Um, I think if, you, if enough of you guys like this video, first of all, I will run an entire tour of this Airbnb. But this is a newer Airbnb. Um, they're charging us about $1,500 a night. It's complete overkill, by the way. I've only got Rudy and my girlfriend with me. There's only literally us two and then the dog. Um, really cool that they allow dogs, first of all. But I really want to talk about business credit. And I also want to talk about your business at large because... A lot of people, they think that, you know, stuff like this, this is 1500 a night, complete overkill, 6,000 and some change for, you know, Wednesday to, or I'm sorry, from Saturday to Wednesday, we're trying to get our stay extended right now, actually, but a lot of people think that that's absolutely overkill. And what I wanted to just share with you guys is how to utilize business credit, how to utilize credit card utilization in both of your personal life and your business life to get things like this. Before we talk about it, take a look at this. Just gorgeous, we've got a dining room here. This is this is the main entrance. Got Rudy hanging out. Beautiful front formal dining, or formal dining here, formal room here. Really cool, if you check this out, you can see it's got a real nice front courtyard. And I think the coolest part about it as an Airbnb is that there's one bedroom that's got its own its own door there from the outside, so you could definitely have more people with you. The second one's got its own porch and second door there. That's another whole bedroom. Super cool in that regard. Show you guys out here real quick. Then let's talk about this business credit. So if I can get this gate open. They've turned the uh, garage check this out really quick so super nice front just really cool look in general but they've turned this area into a uh, like a game room so I can show you guys this this game room and like I said like this video comment down below if you guys want a full tour of this thing we'll get the actual camera out but look at this a little garage little game room definitely a place and all uh, by the way this video is not sponsored in any way in fact I told the owners of the Airbnb that because it's brand new I told them that I'd probably be shooting some content up here just like this and I can actually show you the message they said uh, something like they want to grow organically but thanks for the offer so this is not a uh, sponsored thing but I'll, I'll throw down below the uh the link to their their website um and you guys can kind of check it out but really what i want to talk to you guys about is the the uh the way that you guys can build your credit the way that you guys can utilize it so you know one of the things that a lot of you guys probably are doing um right now is by the way this is kitchen beautiful kitchen nice big kitchen another uh another little living room another dining room we've got little wine nice little wine fridge in here 
little room. We haven't even talked about the bedrooms, which we'll show you guys maybe in a more formal video. But yeah, the, what I've done, guys, very simple, is I've utilized personal credit and business credit to help. So to give you guys an example of this, um, the any business I run, you got to utilize credit. So whatever you're buying, it's advertising, it's product, it's, I mean, uh, with, with anything, you're using your credit. Even if you can pay it, you, it doesn't matter. It's not about, well, I have the money. It's about if there's an option for credit, always ask, always pay with your credit and then pay it off. I, I have a, you know, a decent credit score for my age, 27. I'm, I'm young, so I don't have that, um, that long of credit history. But I've been able to generate enough points through personal and business to do things like this. This is a 6,500, probably after fees and stuff, $7,000 uh, vacation. Think about that for a minute. Seven grand for four days in Sedona is absolutely ridiculous. This should be for six for, for families. And the fact that I was able to convert points, and that's the big nugget of this video, I was able to convert points to then exchange it for dollars. That's what made it happen. So guys, what do I use? I use Amex, first of all. And the first thing I do, the first nugget is marry an airline. You guys need to make sure that you find an airline you always use. For me, I, I, grew, I grew up in Montana. I'm from a little, little town called Butte, Montana. And they only have a... Uh, airline. They only have Delta Airlines, I should say. That's the only thing that they've got. And the reason that I bring that up is that I need, I need points. I need status with them. I need upgrades. I don't want to pay for first class every time. I don't want to pay for comfort. I don't want to pay for those sort of things. So I need all those sort of things. And so what I've done is I, I, I marry the airline. I only try to fly on that airline. I, I utilize that for personal cards and business cards. That way I, I have platinum or diamond medallion status, depending on what I spend that year with Delta every year. I've got the Delta gold card, the Delta platinum card, and the Delta reserve card. That's the purple one. Highly suggest you get at least the platinum and the reserve. They do, they do have a fee, but to give you an example about the reserve, why do I, how can I justify the $500 a year fee? You get to buy one, get one first class domestic round trip every year that you have the card. So I have multiple cards like that. So every year I know I've got to buy one, get one free domestic first class, you know, Phoenix to New York with two of us, buy one, get one free, cuts the cost in half. Uh, platinum, you get, um, uh, platinum, you get uh, domestic. So that, I mean, that was, that was fun. One of my editors, Jason, who shoots a lot of the videos, you guys know him. He, uh, he's probably watching this video right now. Oh, hey. Uh, he, we were able to get his, him and his, his family home buy one, get one free, we cut down his cost and got him back to Michigan from Phoenix for a couple of weeks and enjoys his family and his life a little bit because of that. And I wouldn't be able to do that without business credit or personal credit. So I utilize those cards. And then what I have is also a Capital One Venture card. And that Capital One Venture card is mostly for my personal expenses. But how I was able to do this is I didn't use all my Capital One Venture card points. I have a ton of them. But what I did was I was able to transfer, and you're able to transfer points from one credit card, like Amex. Those Amex points are transferable to different airlines, they're transferable to different uh, booking websites, they're transferable to different cards, and then you're able to transfer them over. So I was able to do this transfer perspective where then I swiped my Capital One card. Um, uh, silly me, it was this was not a tax-deductible vacation even though for the first day we had a couple colleagues up here, could have written this thing off. Um, we actually had two days of meetings up here. Could have written it off, didn't know they were coming and already had swiped it with my personal card and then I decided to go with points. But I, I purchased this with my money and then I redeemed it dollar for dollar with the points. So something like this costs about 650,000 points, which that, you're gonna have to spend a lot of money to get that done, by the way, that, that usually, on a dollar for dollar, it's usually going to be, you're going to have to be spending a few hundred thousand to get that many points uh, if you do it correctly. But I'm just sharing this stuff to kind of get your mind flowing. Okay, I need to attach myself to an airline. I need to learn how to transfer points. I need to get both business and personal. And then just rack them up. And don't, don't even think about spending points until you have at least a quarter million. Get to 250,000. Go research the bonuses as well. Because every single time you guys are uh, thinking about doing a new purchase. Like let's say I needed to replace my refrigerator. Let's say I needed to do some new drywall or 
I was going on a vacation. I was going to spend three, four, five thousand bucks. And you're going to, you're about to get a new card. Go look for a new offer. Go think about, um, you know, what, what the offer is. Sometimes they'll be like, Hey, you know, you can get an extra hundred thousand, 50,000, 75,000 points. If you spend four grand in the first 90 days, take advantage of those offerings. And you guys can do things like this with your family, with your Rudy, with your dog, enjoy it, enjoy the view and, uh, you know, really enjoy the fruits of your labor. So guys, I mean, again, look at this. Absolutely tremendous. We're out here enjoying, didn't have to spend anything, didn't have to do any extra work other than spend the money I would have already spent. So guys, that's the video. I hope you get some value again, like this video. If you guys want to, um, if you guys want to basically see the full tour, we'll do a, we'll mic me up and I'll do a, the best I can, a tour. I've never done really a tour but we'll do a tour of the entire Airbnb. I'll show you the hot tub, the fire pits, the front, all the bedrooms. We'll do something like that. Like the video uh, if you guys want something like that and uh, appreciate you guys for coming. So subscribe as always, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hope this inspires you. Um, guys, I'm, 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 I'm a 27 year old from a town of 30,000 people with, with an average income of about 25 grand per person. This is not normal. This is not normal. I know it's not normal. This is not what a 27 year old does. And I hope it inspires you in, 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 the, in the least confrontational, arrogant way possible. I hope this inspires you to do whatever you want to do. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do what you want to do. Don't let anybody tell you you can't build that business. You can't build that brand. You can't start that YouTube channel. You can't start that podcast. You can do whatever the hell you want in life, guys. And uh, hopefully this just helps inspire you. So we'll see you guys soon. God bless.